What's going on, my Cardano friends? It is your friend Jack here, and today we're going to be going over Cardano's low barrier to entry and specifically how pretty much anyone can have access to starting their business or really their mining operations, in this case, staking operations here on Cardano for less than $1,000. Now, this isn't really a secret. This isn't a new piece of information. It has been widely known in the community of Cardano that you could run a stake pool or basically the mining equivalent of other blockchains here on Cardano, but it's a proof of stake blockchain for you know very, very cheap amount of cost. You can run it on a cloud service for cheap. You can run it on a full blown PC for after you buy the initial equipment, literally, close to zero, right? Just internet cost, just power consumption. And the power consumption is very little, um, about two light bulbs worth. So it's very interesting to see. There's a lot of people talking about it now because Charles Hoskinson, the founding founder of IOHK, which is one of the founding partners of Cardano, talked about it in a recent tweet. Basically that you can go ahead and have an $800 setup. This PC right here, it's an Amazon link. They can run full Cardano nodes and do it properly, which is really cool to see. Now, obviously not everyone's gonna be running on this. A lot of people have advanced setups and more, but you can get a lot done with something like this and run a full node on this, no problem. Cardano specifically has been long known for decentralization. And a big part of that is the accessibility to get into Cardano as a network operator. For other blockchains like Ethereum and Solana, you need thousands and thousands of dollars of not only hardware, but also, especially now for Ethereum's 2.0 version, being proof of stake even, you also need a ton of initial capital. Cardano is a bit different. You still do need a little bit of capital, but more so, you need a lot of social capital, not just hard, hard earned dollars or equity in something um, you need actual social capital and that is a lot harder arguably to get especially even for someone who has money there's a reason that cardano has nodes all over the globe even in underdeveloped countries or continents it's pretty obvious because cardano can run on a lot less needed power and has a lot less hardware capabilities or hardware requirements than other blockchains. It's just how it is. It's how Cardano was built. And that's the reason why Cardano can scale to so many decentralized network operators out there because of this. And because right now, not only do I have my stake pool, but if we go to pool PM's homepage, there's 3,185 other stake pools out there running on cheap hardware likely or cheaper hardware compared to the others but still running at full capacity and you know minting blocks doing everything needed for a financial financial operating system of the world which is to be Cardano. I do want to note that this is an $800 PC to run essentially one node and have room for other you know capabilities. You are going to need, you know, two at least two of these to run a full stake pool. You're going to need a node for, you know, just general node and you're gonna need a block producing node so that is the thing to keep in mind it's not just like $800 flat but these are initial costs that once you have them in place you're not paying a monthly fee for a cloud service or something else that is ridiculously high arguably cloud service would cost about you know four months of cloud services buying this setup all right and having it to go ready just running on just power and internet which would save you a lot of money and also make the network more secure running on actual home hardware more secure in the sense that someone can't just attack the cloud hosting software or platform and take down a bunch of stake pools all at once in this case they'd have to go to each individual's house and take out their hardware or take out their internet matter of fact a large part of Cardano's community was brought together by stake pool operators, people who are passionate about what they're doing and the services they provide for the Cardano blockchain. People have their own custom setups and a ton of things going on, solar powered systems, Raspberry Pi systems, and much more that show Cardano's capabilities don't have to fit on inside a huge $10,000 PC or, you know, $30,000 worth of uh, cryptocurrency to get started, but rather you set up the system and then you build social equity, which I'm going to dive into in just one minute. Before I do, I also want to mention that a lot of Cardano block producers run on less than 20 watts, you know, less than two light bulbs or about two light bulbs worth of electricity. And this is all done on Raspberry Pis or other systems that are bootstrapped with very little electricity, a lot of which even coming from solar powered systems. However, there's one thing I want to mention about Cardano. Even though all of these things are super great, there's a low cost entry, it is interesting to see that the most successful staples on Cardano and the people who are 
producing blocks, essentially keeping their operations afloat with profits from the Cardano blockchain coming in by minting blocks and being a successful quote unquote stake pool. Those people are often because often form because they have social capital and social capital is a lot harder to get. Now, at least I think so. The hardest part about being a Cardano stake pool operator and being successful at it is getting enough stake in your pool. If you click on a pool here, let's click on Barry. This is one of the first pools on Raspberry Pis or you know, a pool that runs on Raspberry Pi is a pool that has contributed a ton to the Cardano ecosystem. Even then, they're not at max saturation because the social game is a lot harder here or is more of the goal here rather than just having a bunch of money. You have to get people who have money to come stake with you and park their ADA in your stake pool. Pretty much the only reason I have 6 million ADA staked to my stake pool is because I have a YouTube channel. And also, I have Hosky token rewards for people to stake with my stake pool. That is pretty much the go-to for me. Now, the entry, to, the barrier to entry is still super low for Cardano stake pool operators. So essentially, anyone with an internet connection can start a stake pool, and there is documentation to do it for themselves out there. I did it myself. And the hard part is really going to be getting people to stake with your pool. So the low, the low barrier to entry creates also a high barrier of social equity, where people have to compete basically for people to stake with them. And that is the hard part about here on Cardano. But in my opinion, that's a way better decentralized solution where the users are picking where they're parking their ADA rather than just basically people who have the most money are going to pick which, you know, which nodes they get to run and control everything else about them. In this case, the block producing power doesn't come from how much money you have. It comes from how much social pull you have. In most cases, you could have a millions and millions of ADA and have your own stake pool that produces blocks, but it's a lot more reasonable a lot more attractive to a tokenomics point of view and just an ecosystem withstanding point of view that majority of the funds in the ecosystem which are distributed in a decentralized manner are going to be put back into the ecosystem to vote who produces blocks aka controls the network of cardano with their own accord people vote on it by staking it's not locked up and it's just a really great system here we have on cardano overall i can't thank Cardano enough. It's done a lot for me. The low barrier to entry was amazing and allowed me to use my YouTube channel and social equity to bring up a successful stake pool that earns money every month, even though I don't really sell the Cardano except for taxes. Um, but it's awesome. And also it's very decentralized, has a lot of good things going for it. And I do think this is the best model out there for proof of stake that we have yet. And maybe we'll have for a long, long time. Keep in mind, this model is not by no means perfect. There's still a lot of things and changes being put through and proposals every day being discussed about and how we can make things better and how things operate. Right now, things are pretty good though compared to all the other blockchains and it's only going to get better. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'm not gonna compare all of the other blockchains and their operating costs or their barriers to entry as an operator. It is much, much higher than Cardano. If you wanna research that, if you wanna look at specific blockchains, you can do that for yourself or if you want a separate video on it, maybe I'll do that too. Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.